Hello, my name is Matt Doble. I'm one of the assistant principals at Preston School in Yeovil. And in this video, we're going to have a quick look at how we can set up our school owned Chromebook either on the school Wi Fi or on our Wi Fi at home. So, when you first open your Chromebook, it will bring you to a screen like this, and you'll notice that there's one account that's probably been set up on there already. So these are set up by our IT technicians and they will use that account anytime your Chromebook goes wrong, needs any updates doing or anything like that. What you want to do first of all is to add on your own account and to add on our own account we need to firstly connect to a Wi-Fi connection. So your Chromebook relies on an internet connection for the most part um, and to get all of the functionality it will always need to be connected onto uh, a Wi-Fi connection of some kind. Now to connect onto the Wi-Fi, we're going to want to click this button in the bottom right hand corner and that kind of acts as our settings hub and it's where we find things like our Wi-Fi connections, our Bluetooth, uh, the sound settings and the brightness of the screen. So open up your Chromebook, get it switched onto this point and then click the icon in the bottom right hand corner, the sort of Wi-Fi radar icon. You'll then be taken to a setting screen that looks like this one. Now you'll notice here in the top left we've got a option for a Wi-Fi connection. We've then got whether we'd like our Bluetooth to be on or not. We've got some accessibility options. Uh, we can change the keyboard to a different language if we need to. And then underneath that we can set the volume and the brightness. You've also there got the battery life. So you can see at the moment this Chromebook's got 100% battery, which leaves about 5 hours and 33 minutes of battery uh, left. So at this point, you're going to want to click the Wi-Fi setting, which is the very top left hand option. Uh, and we're going to from that select the Wi-Fi uh, network that we want to connect to. So go ahead, click that one. And then you're going to see a list of the available Wi-Fi connections appear on your screen. So when you're inside of school, you want your Chromebook to be on the Preston network and this will be set up for you by our IT technicians. So whenever you're in school, your Chromebook should automatically connect to the Wi-Fi network. If you're at home, however, uh, the first thing you're going to need to do is connect onto your network. So hopefully in this list, you're seeing uh, your home network. Now, if you don't know the name for that one, go and have a look on the back of your router. And on that, you should see the name of your Wi-Fi network listed. Click your uh, chosen Wi-Fi network, uh, click it once and it should bring up the next option. So at this point we need to put in the Wi-Fi password. Any uh, Wi-Fi network should have a password set up for it. If yours doesn't, that's something you certainly want to have a look at. Now again, if you don't know the password, go and have a look on the back of your router and written on your router should be the name of the network and then the password. Once you know that, click the pass, uh, write the password into this box and then you're going to want to click, click the connect button in the bottom right hand corner. At this point we should see that our Wi-Fi connection has now connected. So I can see that I'm now connected to my home Wi-Fi network and my signal strength at the moment is medium. Uh, ideally your, net, uh, your strength would be high or medium. If you're low uh, in terms of your signal strength you might want to look at where your router is positioned in your home. But at this point we should see that our Wi-Fi connection is connected um, and we're now ready to set up our account. So the next thing we want to do is to add on our school account onto the Chromebook. Uh, if you're doing this in school uh, your Wi-Fi should already be connected and you can jump straight to this point. If you're doing it at home just make sure you have got a Wi-Fi connection first. We can see in the bottom left hand corner we've got an add person button. Now you should only need to do this once, you should need to do this the very first time you get your Chromebook and from then on your account will be remembered. Click the add person button now. So the first screen is nice and straightforward, it just tells you that this is a Preston School Chromebook and it will require you to sign in uh, with your Preston School login details every time. Click the next button in the bottom right hand corner. You'll then see the normal Preston School login screen. So this is the login screen you see whenever you access the portal from home on your own laptop or mobile phone. And in this screen you need to type in your normal school username and password. That's the username and password that you use to connect to any computer in school or to log into the portal from home. Now if you're not sure on your details you need to get in touch with our IT technicians who will reset that for you. 
or ask for that to be reset in your next computing lesson. Enter your details and then click sign in. If everything has gone uh, smoothly, you should now see a screen that tells you your Wi-Fi, uh, your sorry, your Chromebook is set up and you're ready to go. Uh, the only option you'll have at this point is a get started icon in the bottom right hand corner. Click that and your Chromebook should then log you in. So at this point, my Chromebook has logged me in and I can see the Preston School Portal, which is the first thing that's going to load up whenever you, uh, whenever you log into your Chromebook. Now, the first time you log in, your Chromebook is going to download and install all of the software that you'll require. Things like Microsoft Word, Excel, OneDrive and Google Classroom. So my taskbar at the bottom will be empty for maybe 10 or 15 seconds. And then you'll get a couple of notifications coming up saying such and such has been installed. This bit of software is now installed and is ready to go. So when you very first log into your Chromebook, it's probably worth leaving it for sort of two minutes or so. Uh, and that will then install everything that you need. From this point, the Chromebook works exactly like a, a laptop at home would. You've got access to Google Classroom, Office 365, your knowledge builders, and all of the usual things that you can get through the portal in school, but at home or wherever you, wherever you go. Now, just like at the start, in the bottom right hand corner, we've got access to all of our settings and we can change these at any time. You've got things like your volume. Now, if you're using your Chromebook in school, you're always going to want your volume to be on mute. You've got things like your screen brightness and do you want your Chromebook on night mode or not? You've also there got your Wi-Fi connection so we can uh, change and switch between different Wi-Fi networks if we need to. And you've got a sign out button at the top. Now, the sign out button will log you out of your account and take you back to the login screen where you should see your account has now been added. So when you next use your Chromebook, simply open it up, click on your account and re-enter your password. Now, if this Chromebook's been given to you, you don't particularly need to sign out. If this is your Chromebook on a one-to-one -one basis, uh, you don't really need to sign out. You just need to keep your Chromebook safe. All you'll need to do then is shut the lid. Your Chromebook will automatically put itself to sleep uh, and will be ready to go the next time you open that one up. Hopefully that has got you to a point where you're logged in and you're able to use your Chromebook. If not, our IT technicians are always available in ILS. Please take your Chromebook up to them and they will be able to have a look for you. Uh, if you have any other questions, you can get in touch via email using intranet at prestonschool.co.uk. Thank you very much.